Αυτινόν το η Ελλάδα είναι να πειραματώσω για να δουν πώς μπορεί να αρμέγουν και μέχρι που μπορεί να αντέχει να αρμέγει όταν τρώει λίγο η Ελλάδα. They are refusing to see the reality. They are crushed with the reality. <laughs> and uh, they are afraid of the new, the other thing. So they they kind of uh, closing to themselves and uh, saying it's not happening, it's not happening, it's not happening. It's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Nothing's gonna be all right. Και θυμήθηκα αμέσως αυτό που έχει πει ο Μένανδρος πριν από δυόμισι χιλιάδες χρόνια «Τα δάνεια δούλους τους ανθρώπους ποιοί». Τα δάνεια μετατρέπουν τους ανθρώπους σε δούλους. Εάν μετατρέπουν τους ανθρώπους σε δούλους, τους, ε, τα κράτη τα υποδουλώνουν και καταργούν την εθνική τους ανεξαρτησία, την εθνική τους κυριαρχία και τα κάνουνε προτεκτοράτα, να το πω έτσι, στην ουσία. Well, uh, I feel hurt. I feel uh, exploited. I feel like my personal um, field of action, you know, creative and economic, uh, is closing down on me, you know, it's as time goes by. Uh, you see, I'm a freelancer and uh, with no artist benefits like they have in France or Canada, nothing of the kind. No, I see my parents' pensions, you know, that they paid for all their lives being cut. Uh, and, and I see, you know, the augmented anxiety behind their remarks, the humorous remarks that, you know, in the end time of the Greek state, we're going to live on our orange trees or something, you know. Uh, but uh, there is there hidden, you know, the anxiety, the augmenting anxiety and fear. Uh, it affected me because of uh, what's happening to my friends, family, my students that uh, don't think that uh, they have a future, they can't dream like they used to, so that uh, affects me a lot. Now, this, apart from the, let's say, the material damage, the psycholo psychological is the worst, I think. There's depression and desperation in the like uh, in the whole population in the country. And I see my country, which despite its uh, institutional deficiencies, uh, has always been a hospital paradise for all the world <laughs> to come and, you know, being turned into a servitude state. I don't think that uh, it's easy to live with that. Talking with my brother uh, about living Greece, I remember saying that I cannot. I thought of it, but now I cannot. I cannot do it because I would be in another country and someday I will hear that my friend uh, was hit by the police and is dead. Or my friends are dying from hunger. I don't know. I could not stand myself being there. Τη κρίση την προκάλεσε ο ελληνικός λαός. Τη κρίση τη δημιούργησε ο ελληνικός λαός. Τη κρίση την τροφοδοτεί ο ελληνικός λαός. Τη κρίση τη λειτουργεί ο ελληνικός λαός. I'm put here and I will be strong enough 
to fight back. Time of Sindama, the time for Sindama Square. Well, actually, I had abandoned university. I had a life. It wouldn't really. It didn't really satisfy me. It was like lost. So I wasn't. I didn't like the, the world around me. Thing how things are are going. So some days before the 25th, before Sindama, you know, you remember that the movement started in Spain first. So the 25th. There was a spontaneous big, big uh, manifestation in Sindama School. It was really, really beautiful, really. Like simple citizens, like you and me, not parties, not uh, flags, not uh, unions, just people having a, out in the street, you know, expressing their indignation and their... We didn't know why we were happy. I think that it was just because the simple people um, actually met each other in the public sphere again, you know, reoccupied the, the public space and uh, this, you know, modern agora of Athens, uh, it was overwhelming, really, you know. Yeah, because uh, it wasn't a call from a specific party, let's say, political party. Uh, I thought maybe here is something happening from the people. That's why I participated. I used to participate in demonstrations, in strikes, okay, I did all this. But always it was under someone's flag. Now it wasn't. Uh, in a way, we lost our political innocence, I'd say, uh, that of the voter. These things cannot change through election by a union or by a party. I strongly believe in the out-organization of people now. You know, autonomy try to ignore the actual system and create something of their own. When they were able to get us to the Pratia Sintagmatos, I said to them that they are the party to believe that what they do today is the right-wing democracy. Είναι απλώς ένα μάθημα δημοκρατίας, πλάθουνε τρόπους που πρέπει να εφαρμόζεται η άμεση δημοκρατία, αλλά δεν μπορεί οι 6.000 που μου είπαν ότι είναι παρόντες εκεί, ποιος τους εξέλεξε εκ μέρους του 4,5 εκατομμυρίων που βρίσκονται στην Αθήκη. Και τους τόνισα ότι αν αυτό το κίνημα δεν μεταφερθεί στους τόπους δουλειά και στους τόπους κατοικία. Θα εξαφανιστεί. So all climaxed uh, in the battle of the 28th and 29th of June in 2011, when the mid-term agreement was voted. Uh, nobody could believe the violence, but also how decided, you know, unarmed people actually were. I remember being in great uh, psychological tension, uh, hearing the voices of the crowds uh, chanting, you know, that they would not retreat. You know, it was. Uh, you know, seeing our faces, uh, everybody's faces crying and white from the malogs and, you know, still contorted with, with anger and uh, decisiveness in a way. <laughs> We expected violence, but not in that, in this amount. 
Descending into chaos. I left uh, very late from my desk and went to the concert. You know, the concert, wow, it was, we had the concert in order to keep the square all night going because it was terrible. The tear gas was uh, a smog everywhere. I guess an important battle because in a way it was an inner battle you know between uh, fear and uh, rage uh, these two contradicted collective feelings that are now inside you know Greek society Greek people and I think uh, what happened in Egypt the images that we had what happened in Spain it's not irrelevant of what happening here in Greece now or what happened or what is going to happen. So it inspired you? Yeah, it, it inspired us. Uh, in a way, when you see such radical images, uh, think about the, the earthquake in uh, Japan. When you saw these images, you cannot forget them. What's, when something is happening, Actually, uh, going back to what we said before, when I saw the flood, what's the word, yeah, uh, after the tsunami, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I couldn't believe it. I have to play it again and again and again to understand that this is actually happening or happened. The whole earth is moving and uh, ships and uh, trucks and uh, trees and houses all together moving around. I couldn't believe it. It's the same thing. When you see images from, the, from Egypt, when people suddenly, they were chased by the police and suddenly returned back. You, you cannot forget these images. Before all of us who were in favour of a pacific way of fighting, of staying uh, non-violent. But after this, after seeing the atrocities of the policemen, almost everybody, almost everybody said, was telling me, Nikki, you, you can't go on this way, you have to fight back with the police, it's uh, like a defence. I cannot forget the the hate I felt 
for this man under the police suit that was hitting a woman without any uh, without thinking about it he was hitting a human being i hated this man i cannot forget this feeling <laughs> My, uh, actually it was in uh, 28, a friend of mine came and said, you are changed, your, your face is changed. And that day actually, yes, it was changed because I was changed and it was hate. I cannot understand what you are doing for 700 euros, saying to yourself that I follow orders. What the fuck that means, I follow orders? I don't understand it. I cannot see a policeman afterwards and not bring back these feelings. I cannot. Well, the crackdown uh, really affected everybody. You know, it has affected me. Everybody was affected. Uh, uh, as I said, we realized that despite our heroic posture at, of the moment, you know, the damn thing was actually voted. In a mere crisis action, created by το πολιτικό σύστημα, κρίνεται η ανθρωπιστική ιδέα, ε, κρίνεται ο πολιτισμός μας. The next day, after the after the big uh, manifestation, the, uh, the square was destroyed. Actually, all pancarts, tents, everything—it was really destroyed. But next day, we were afraid nobody would come. But so so much people came in the in the assembly. Uh, like I mentioned, that uh, it's not over; it continues. That brought us brought us hope. But uh, soon we, we realized that uh, little by little the participation was falling down. And of course it got to the point where they evacuated the square and there was no camp anymore. Now, some, a, year, a year later, yeah, realistically, we have all changed and continue fighting in different ways, but the illusion we had has, has left, I think. We have been 
Uh, I think that it was then that most people realized that uh, this game was not only between the political class and the people, you know, it was actually between the true ruling class that would go to any extremes in order to preserve its place. Καταρχήν δεν τελείωσε η κρίση, διότι συνεχώς παίρνουν νέα μέτρα λιτότητας και μας παρουσιάζουν ότι θα περάσουμε υποχρεωτικά αυτά τα επώδυνα μέτρα για να σωθεί η οικονομία της χώρας. Δεν υπάρχει μεγαλύτερο, όχι, πλέον απάτη διαστρέμβρωσης της πραγματικότητας. Δεν τους έχουμε ανάγκη, δεν θέλουμε σωτήρες. Έχουμε εμείς λύσεις, έχουμε τρόπο να αντιμετωπίσουμε την κατάσταση, αρκεί να μην είμαστε υποταγμένοι σε αυτό. If our fellow EU citizens would only stop paying, that may be the start of finding a sustainable and just solution for the, for the Greek drama and the Euro crisis on the whole. But my basic fear is that you know, by the time the rest of the Europe is awake, uh, a lot of lives will be already ruined. Uh, on the other hand, it's a matter of self-respect and integrity to keep on trying, uh, not only for my personal life, but to the collective life as well. It was obvious that the days of innocence were over, you know, and uh, right now there is a great variety though, of alternative projects uh, running, you know, many neighborhood assemblies really being still very vivid. Most of these initiatives wouldn't be possible if there was the, if we didn't have the summer's experience. Δεν λέω ότι με άκουσαν, αλλά στην πραγματικότητα αυτό έχει γίνει τώρα. Και γι' αυτό δεν παρουσιάζεται μια μόνιμη λαϊκή συνέλευση στην κάτω πλατεία του συντάγματο. This is just a method we use, especially you know, occupy a square with tents, and this is just a method. It's not the objective. If there is a lasting difference. I think it is the will, actually, the will to participate. Άρα μας έχει υπερβάλει το κίνημα της πλατείας συντάγματος που έχει ριζώσει σε όλη την Ελλάδα. It has changed all of us, I think. Nobody can just go back to what they were before. I cannot do my PhD study in the way that I used to. I became something else. I'm becoming something else. I hope I'm becoming something else. It gives sense to my life, only fighting for this, trying to do something along with other people. It gives sense to my life, it's enough. Hope's, hope is the last that, that dies. If our hope is lost, then we're lost for sure. I was sleeping. I have to admit that first and then say, okay, I have to wake up. And what I will see when I wake up, might <laughs> I might don't like it, but I have to. And when you are woken up, you cannot go to sleep again. <laughs> That's my hope. I, I like to, to, to think that this is an adventure of the spirit and the soul, you know, towards knowledge and... Um, experiences. Well, I actually choose to see Greece in my crystal ball <laughs> for what it stands for. And that would really be an inviting uh, landscape for the whole world to rethink, revisit, and if not rejoin, at least respect. Πριν υπάρξει η βάρκα, ήταν μια ουτοπία η βάρκα. Πριν υπάρξει το αεροπλάνο, ήταν μια ουτοπία το αεροπλάνο. Πριν υπάρξει το υποβρύχιο, ήταν μια ουτοπία το υποβρύχιο. Και πριν υπάρξει ο δορυφόρος, ήταν μια ουτοπία. Λοιπόν, και να μην υπήρχε παρελθόν, εφόσον η ανάγκη το επιβάλλει, πρέπει να το κάνουμε. 
Σημαίες μας Θα βάλουμε μπροστά τη μαύρη 